Hey everybody, this is Randy Brown for Vlogging with Mr. Brown. Uh, look, uh, during my last stream, someone asked a really good question, and I would like to take a few moments to go over that question and answer a little bit more in depth. Uh, now, uh, Yakov Petrovich asked a really good question. Uh, I didn't take a screenshot of the exact question, so I'm just going to, like, wing it. But basically, the question was, no offense, Randy, you've been out of school for a while now. Aren't these tips out of date? Well, I'm going to use a metaphor to answer that question. But the short answer is no. Uh, number one, I am in... I am a Bible student, and I have never done studying the Bible. I try to at least read a chapter every day, and I do several short studies where I teach people how to, you know, where I teach people the Bible and, you know, biblical principles and stuff like that. And then, uh, on top of that, I do, uh, I write. I have two books published that are on Amazon right now. Uh, there's the Little Memory Book, Seven Little Tricks That Make a Big Difference, out on Amazon and Kindle. And then my other one is Quantify and Achieve Your Goals, and I'm working on two other books. Uh, my big goal for this year is to get two uh, books published on paperback, so there you go. So I am always learning. Uh, I read books for fun. You know, some people collect toys. I collect knowledge. So there you go. But to answer the question, uh, aren't these tips kind of out of date, uh, I, I would give you the metaphor of a pencil, okay? Now, the pencil has been around for a really, really, really long time, but it all, wasn't always that way. Like, you know, in, in first, first we had the quill pen. Which was like a feather that you, you know, dipped in octopus ink and wrote with that. You know, and then came the pen, which was, you know, it was like a, a wooden stick with like a little metal tip that you dipped and would write with that. And then as technology advanced, uh, you got the pencil, which was, you know, pretty handy and, uh, hasn't, uh, gone out of date. Uh, and then after that, you had the Gutenberg printing press, which was another form of writing. And, getting something across. Then, after the pencil and the Gutenberg printing press, you had the typewriter. So that was pretty handy. You know, saved a lot of time. Then, after that, you had the computer, and you would write with a little keyboard. Uh, after that, leave a comment in the comments section if you remember what this is. But, you know, in, in my heyday, we had something called the PDA, which was a personal digital address organizer. So that's what that was. And then uh, around 1999 uh, and around that era, we started getting cell phones that had texting capabilities. And then later on, those cell phones actually had like dozens of little keys, like a, a tiny little keyboard. Then after the keyboard went out of style, uh, we had like a little touchpad, which is what you have on your iPhones and Androids today. And then after the touch screen, we had a stylus, which was a little piece, looked like a pen, but it was magnetic, so you could write on, uh, so you could write on your computer screen without marking it up. Now, to answer your question effectively, let me ask you this. Have you used a pencil this week? If you're absolutely being really honest and not trying to troll me, odds are you've used a pencil not only this week, but several times during the week. Now, there, there's two ways to answer your question. Are these techniques old? Yes, these techniques are very old. They're very old and they've been around for a really long time. Two, are these techniques out of date? No, they are not. Because even though we have something as high-tech and as futuristic as a stylus, that doesn't mean that something as simple as a pencil is going to go out of date. Now, I could also make another correlation to, like, modern magicians. You know, the most, uh, the coolest, most high-tech modern magicians are still basing a lot of their acts 
on some of the dumb, simple, most basic, like, kitty tricks that have been, that have been done for centuries, you know? It's just tiny modifications. And like I said, it's the same principle as a pencil. Do we have something light years beyond what a pencil is? Yeah, we do. But, uh, do we still use the pencil today? Yeah, we do. So, are these tricks out of date? No. In fact, uh, if you watch The Kingsman, uh, I believe there's a little line in there that says, old tricks are the best tricks, you know? And like I said, a lot of these things, like, you know, using post-its and index cards, you know, index cards are very low-tech. You know, the, there are apps on your phone where you can use index cards. And then, you know, you could, uh, you know, you carry your computer around with like a little index card program on there. You know what? What happens if your battery craps out? Oh, guess what? You can't study right now because you need to recharge your battery and you can't recharge battery and be on your computer at the same time. So, so yeah. Um, these tips are low tech. I would definitely say that. They're low tech, they're old, but you know, old doesn't necessarily mean out of date. Um, in fact, one of the oldest books on the planet is still a reliable source of information. So, just because something's old doesn't necessarily mean that it's out of date. And, uh, like I said, it's like a pencil. It still works. You'll use it ten times a day if you use it correctly. And, uh, you know, uh, no, it's not out of date. So, uh, that's it. My name is Randy Brown for Vlogging with Mr. Brown. Let's see if I can get this under ten seconds, and I will see you, Glotra.